November the 15th. Headed somewhere I haven't been yet this year. Pretty much on the other side of the state. Got up early this morning. Came over here to hunt all day. Turkey hunted this a couple times this past season. And uh, the deer sign is insane in here. At least it was. The spot where I found a lot of deer sign is just right off the water. So right on the edge of the water. So I'm gonna get down this river and uh, just get right up out of the water. The wind should be right for that spot and see if there's decent sign in there. If there is, then I'll go and hunt. I think there's there should be standing corn, or not standing corn, but corn. I don't know if it's standing or cut, but it's flat land, not a lot of terrain in here. So y'all know I'm not awesome at that, but um, there are a lot of deer in this area, a ton of deer, actually. I think a lot of people don't know it's actually public um, because it's right in the middle of some stuff that's kind of off limits and you can't access it by the road. You can just access it by the water. And during turkey and deer season, I've never seen anybody here, so hopefully we'll be able to get in there clean. We got about an hour and a half from right now till daylight starts to peak, so I can probably shoot. So we should be able to get set up with about 30 minutes left. I'm hoping. Wind's coming out of the northeast. Uh, that's what it's forecasted for all day, so and we're going to go try to stick something. I'll stay tuned. got set up this morning and uh, I don't think we I didn't, I didn't hear any deer blow so that's good the closest field is downwind it's right back here and there's just a wore out trail I didn't uh, I didn't set up where I originally intended to there just wasn't any sign in there so I just pushed a little deeper ended up being kind of late this morning but I'd rather be late and in a good spot than on time and in a spot that doesn't have any signs. So I'm only two sticks up today. Um, this tree, it's really hard to find a good tree in here that has good cover. But this is about as close as I can get. I'm two feet, two sticks up, so probably 12, 12 to 15 foot, somewhere like that. Alright, so I'm finally set up in the spot that I wanted to hunt tonight. I can get here, and there's a ladder stand right here. Uh, it doesn't look like it's been used in a long time. This is where all the sign is at. There's several trails all coming from this direction. Kind of just right here in the middle of a bunch of, I guess, probably soybeans and maybe corn. 
I got a swamp right here that I'm on the edge of. And it looks like these deer are just walking the edge of this swamp, maybe bailing off to whichever field they want to go to. Lots of rubs and lots of scrapes in here right now. The scrapes aren't real fresh, but the rubs are. It's a good looking spot. I think, you know, we may not see any deer, I don't know, but I found a lot of good sign and this seemed like the best all around area to set up in, so. Let me try it out. So the plan for now, I think it's a gut shot. Um, the last blood I found had some matter in it, so I think it was just a little bit too far back. So 
I'm gonna back out. I'm gonna try to find a dog that will come out tonight. And uh, hopefully be able to come back and recover this deer. We shall see. All right, it's about uh, 9.30. Just met up with the tracker. Talked to a couple trackers. Everybody seems very optimistic. We backed out. I know it definitely hit guts because of the that matter that was in there. So it definitely hit guts. And that's a deadly shot almost all the time. It's been right this moment. It's been about five hours since the shot. Excited, optimistic. I feel like we did it the smart way. The only thing I'm worried about is if I did jump the deer, um, I'm worried about how far it could have went. That's that's my only real concern right now. But a dog on a gut a gut shot deer should shouldn't be an issue. Oh, it's gonna be a long night. It's actually gonna be kind of fun because his dog has never been in a boat before. And yeah, we're about to get in some boats. He brought his kayak, and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Have y'all ever both rode in that at the same time? No, it'll be first time. Well, He's kind of the star of the show. Try. That's a pretty dog. Long ride, but you best go in for an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> If he will. That rub. Yeah. It's all him from here. Now we do just stand around and let him work it out. How far did you try to track her after you shot her? Probably right over there. Towards the field over there? Yeah. But I couldn't tell if she was going that direction or... He's circling back around over there now. That's the way she went. It looked like she circled back that way. He's out in that field now. He's over in that, uh, there's a finger that's right over there that separates those two fields. Mm -hmm. He's over in there right now. Kind of circling around. She may be right there. Good boy. Good boy, yeah, good boy. Get the deer, Just get the deer. Come on, get the deer, get the deer. Man, I can't believe she's still kicking. Little girl's got some will to survive. I'm telling you, she? man, some of these smaller deer like this has got just an unbelievable will to live. 
some of the longest tracks I've ever been on has been on small deer. And some of the shortest tracks I've been on has been on some really nice bucks. It's, it's just crazy at the, the determination of deer and it always gets me excited to get one though. Well, we got her thanks to Oscar, good dog. He found her, she was actually still alive. It's been about six hours since the track, or since the shot, and it was actually not a terrible shot. But she's a little deer, um, but just the will that she had to survive was pretty insane. Um, but yeah, she, uh, she ended up expiring and it was crazy. Um, thanks to Oscar and thanks to Justin for coming out here this late and kayaking with the dog for the first time. That's pretty cool and it's pretty cool that it got to be successful too. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's almost the rut here. It's getting close. Not quite there yet, but um, starting to see a lot of sign open up. That's why I kind of wanted to go ahead and take care of my freezer deer. I like to kill smaller a small dough for uh, what goes in my freezer because it just tastes better. And uh, that's kind of what this has all been about in the last probably two weeks and I just haven't been able to make it happen through missing and other circumstances. But finally, we got it done and uh, on a new piece of public, a place I hadn't been to this year yet. So, pretty awesome. I'm excited. Thanks guys for watching.